Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Trojan Condom. <laughs> to the Trojan Condom. Where we are, you know, doing our jobs. Doing our uh, flow of, 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 of making the environment correct, right? I don't know, dude. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I'm getting at. But welcome back to another Castle Flipper episode. Um, the people that enjoy Castle Flipper, you guys are actually really special because, um, you know, it takes a lot of... <laughs> I don't say it takes a lot of courage to like a game like this. Uh, but it definitely takes a lot of patience, I would say, for sure. And I appreciate it. And I, I do... I, I understand the kind of person you are when you when you watch uh, a Let's Play series like this, for sure. So thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Let's go ahead and jump into some quests that we have here. We have the build the new house quest. We have time for a cleanup. And we have a good lesson. Uh, let's do, like, the easiest one, right? Which would be this, I, I would assume. 3,000 gold that's just crazy dude so much money so time for a cleanup this old house needs renovation clean the walls and floors pick up the garbage lying around and take care of the garden outside there's also some furniture missing upstairs all right let's do that let's do that for show time for a cleanup um yeah so i i i talked about in the last episode i think maybe a couple episodes ago maybe the first or second i'm not sure when i i talked about it but i did mention like oh i i, I really miss the medieval um aspect and and that that's that's entirely true um and with that being said i do plan on making another medieval let's play series of a game of a game i'm not gonna say what it is um, but uh, of a game very very soon uh, So stay tuned for that of course and who knows when you're watching this video that video that I'm talking about might come up Today it might come up in the next few hours. I'm not sure entirely, but I do plan on um, You know I, I do plan on having a medieval another medieval type let's play of a I guess of the genre I don't know why it's so hard to talk today gonna get are those cockroaches or are those spiders I'm not really sure let me turn down the music just a little bit on my side right, so there's a lot of stains obvious oh my god okay this goes downstairs or does it go upstairs okay it goes upstairs just put it right there some of the furniture is like very silly right it's like uh, it's like uh, like why are you blocking the stairs right I guess there was, you know, something had to happen here for that to happen. So far, so good. Um, oh, yep. I'm, I'm, I'll go back down and do the, do the, what needs to be done as far as the stains and everything. I like to do one thing, at, one task at a time. I know it's like not efficient, uh, but it's kind of like how my brain works. Maybe you might be the same. Let's get at the broom. Fantastic. Do some cleaning. Now, I forgot how to do the, uh, what was it, the, the skill tree, or how to bring up the skill tree. Is it I? Is it T? Is it I? Not I, that's inventory. Q? No? Tab? No, I don't know. I forgot how to bring it up, and, uh, because I feel like the game doesn't really tell you when you do, you know, have, have skills to, to kind of, uh, what the heck just happened? skills to, to use i guess to purchase new new abilities and, and things like that um i couldn't it might be what about if i that's no anything else here like what is that nope that that nope okay all right i'll figure it out maybe later down the road uh shouldn't really worry about it too much right now i'm sure maybe the game will, will remind me later like oh yeah you have a skill point you need to spend so i just realized that you get 15 what the hell is happening with that table? It's like floating. Um, I, I do realize that now you get 15 gold for every stain you clean. And I mean, the fact that we have 18,000 gold is quite a bit. It is quite a bit. Um, and I, even the prices of things, I mean, I, I might be speaking a little prematurely, of course. I might be speaking way too soon about it. Um, but it seems like we have a lot, a lot of money and things are kind of cheap. But maybe you need a lot of money to like build these like giant, huge, um, gigantic castles and, and buildings and, and stuff like that. For sure, I, I I can see that. So what do we want? Place a bed upstairs. So they want to place a bed upstairs. So let's go ahead and go into the bedroom and get some bed action. 
Let's see this one. This one looks kind of comfy. This one actually, the bed with this actually comes with the with the mattress and everything, so we don't need to put a mattress in it. So there we go. Look at that. Oh, that looks great. I love that. Um, I'm sorry. Is this not upstairs? Is this not considered upstairs? Okay, maybe is this considered upstairs? Okay, this is uh, this is apparently considered upstairs. All right, that's fine, I guess. A little bit more direction would have been better. Uh, and then, uh, what do they want? A closet? All right, we can get a closet. Let's do this. Now I wonder if I could have just used the closet from down there. I wonder, right? And remove old trunks and trees. Okay, we got that. We can definitely do that. Go outside, grab our axe, right? Grab our axe. There we are. Trunks and trees. Oh, this is an old tree for sure. Pop this one down. Boom. 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 Oh my god. Do we have any chests here? No, there's no chests. I start to I start to wanting I, I have the urge to want to speak like uh like I'm from from this this time era. Do we have any axe? Do we? No? Okay. A terrible example. You might see it like slip out from time to time when I'm just playing the game naturally, but that that was just that was a bad example. Don't take that and can, you know what? Scratch that. Here's another old tree. I wonder why they're so specific on where I should chop the tree at. You notice that? That is kind of weird. Like they're, they're like, no, you have to chop it right here and that, that's your only option. And it seems like the tree falls on the house anyways, so I don't know. There we go, we'll do that, and we'll chop this one. And then we'll do some cleanup. Do some destroying. We should get money, right? I think there's a chance of us getting money from destroying those uh, those logs. There we go, and let's see if we get money here. Too hard to tell because everything just popped up at once. So 3,600, uh, 3,600, so... So again, a lot of money. I mean, that's good for us. I mean, it's good for our kingdom. It's good for our potential kingdom, I guess you could say. It seems like when you progress through the game, the game is kind of like building around you in a way. Um, like that house, for an example. I don't know if there's going to be any more houses down the road or, or, or what, but, you know, it's kind of fun to see. Let's go to the next one. A good lesson. I need someone to teach my neighbors a lesson. My neighbor is, a wealthy, is wealthy enough to afford his own carriage, tools, and everything. Despite that, he constantly borrows my stuff. And sometimes he even forgets to return my belongings. Worse yet, they come back broken. I think we all know what kind of people this is. What? <laughs> I know what kind of people this is or what kind of person this is. And I need someone to teach that bastard a lesson. And you don't even have to be a scholar. All I want you to do is break some of his stuff. This will show him what it's like to have someone destroy your things. The job is really easy. Robert isn't home until late night every day except Sundays. So you should not have any problems getting the job done. $3,000 just to damage 120 items. Oh my god. Alright, let's go and do that. So this, again, this is another kind of like change of pace right in the game where it's like, hey, you know, let's not clean something up. Let's go destroy something. And let's see if it's, oh my god, this guy is wealthy. This guy is, is, is very, very wealthy. There is no, there's no notes here, but there is two chests here. So I am, uh, I am a little curious on that. Let's go ahead and tab out and get our destroy on. All right. Can I hit this? Oh, baby. Oh, dude, just send it all. So this is going to help us out across the board. Obviously, it's going to give us money, right? Uh, but it's going to give us materials, too, which I was not expecting, uh, which is good. So let's just go around and start smashing things. Got to smash 120 items, which is kind of like, honestly, a little absurd. Like grindstone. Get that out of here. Where's the chest? I'm, I'm just a madman running around with a hammer. This game makes me want to play Fable. That's what it makes me want to do. It makes me want to like play the Fables all over again. Dun, 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 dun. Is there anything up here? I need it, you know, keep an eye. Yo! Secret door? Could have been. Could have been. Could have been something nice. Could have been something special. But it's not, nonetheless. There we go. Oh. Think we can destroy that? Oh, yeah, we can. 
So money, money is great. Materials is great. We've only gotten like wood and stuff. I would prefer to have like stone and like more stone, I should say. Uh, that would help us with building nicer stuff. Oh, look at this thing. This is bad. This is like, like is this like a guest house or something? I'm assuming this is like a guest house. What is this guy going to think when he comes back to his house and finds that I smashed a piece of bread? Probably not good. <laughs> Do I feel like there's going to be uh, consequences for this? No. Not that, not that kind of game. Could be. Not that kind of game, though. Where is... I am a little surprised that I haven't ran into a chest quite yet. So that, that, you know, that is what it is. We are kind of like doing this in, in orderly fashion. Kind of like sticking with the outside, uh, outside means and then we'll work on ourselves. Dude, that is incredible. That is incredible. It's so huge. It's gigantic. Look at that. Like, is that something we could potentially build? Because that's insane. Okay, we should probably take down the well, maybe. Okay, no, the well is not going anywhere. The well is very strong. Uh, we cannot go into the watchtower. That's, I'll be honest, a little disappointing. Is there a chest behind the watchtower? Nope, there's not even entrance into the watchtower. And there's nothing in, inside the, uh, the wall itself. All right, so let's go over to the other guest house, I guess. Guest house, I guess. I do see a chest up there, so that's good. Dun, 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 dun. Whoop. I missed the door. <clears throat> wow, that was big. What the hell was that? I don't even know what that was. Is this like a basement? Maybe this isn't a guest house. Maybe it was like a storage unit? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of storage unit vibes here. Hopefully there's like more than 120 items. Because if there's only exactly 120 items, look. Uh, this is a pretty big area for me to like try to find every 120 item. Especially if things are hiding, right? So I'm a little nervous on that. All right, let's make our way into the big daddy here with our Trojan condom. I, I should, I know, just tell me to stop. <laughs> just tell me to stop. There we go. There we are. Fantastic. Why did it get so dusty? I love that. That's really cool, actually. Dun, 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 dun. So far, so good. Uh, so you know, first things first is like, I feel like this is a lot smaller than it, it than it was on the outside. But I haven't gone upstairs yet, so I should probably save that thought until I go way up. Oh yeah, this thing keeps going up. This this is really cool, actually. Boom. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Now, where is the last? This would actually probably been a good, uh, a good map to have notes on and stuff. Because you could have done like a lot of like funny parodies or something here. Dun, 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 dun. Or maybe some references. Dun, 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 dun. How much should we have? We have a we only need 10 more items. That was a bathtub. This should do it. Maybe. Oh my god, there's one. Please be it. Oh my see, okay, this was the issue I was talking about. Like, is there gonna be exactly 120 items? Because if there is, what happens if I missed one? And I don't know where the hell I missed one. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This this is this is the issue. This is the issue. Whenever you make a game and you have something like this and you have a very big, big, wide open area of exploration for the level, do not put exactly 120 items. Maybe put 125 items um, and make the goal 120 items. Because now I have to search around this entire freaking area and try to find the one thing that I apparently had missed. Ay ay ay. Well, I found the chest at least. The chest is right here. So we got the last chest. However, we need uh, a new item has been unlocked. Nice. However, we need the last freaking item. Oh my god. 
And to make things worse, it's like it's now getting dark. And now I'm not going to be able to see anything. Good God. All right, so I think I found my freaking suspect here. It's going to be right here in front of us. One of these needs to go. There we go. All right. So they did put, I guess, technically over 120 different items to smash. Maybe they put 122. I don't even know, dude. But there we go. Thankfully, they did that because, uh, you know, they made that a little bit obvious. I was I was scared that it was going to be like a tiny, like, picture frame or something on a wall. And I, I would have been upset. Uh, but it wasn't. It was actually stuff outside. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad on that. So I, I you know, that's that for, for the... For the most part, I guess. Uh, we do have another one. We, we we unlock something, so I guess we have a new new item in the uh, furniture place or s so forth. We do have another quest going on here. That's the build the house one, right? Yeah, build a new house. And then this one is becoming a mighty man. Welcome. I'd like to ask you a favor. My domain is constantly expanding, and more and more peasants are peasants are coming to it. I like. <laughs> My phone. I'd like you to build a build and rent a new hut for one of the potential inhabitants. By the way, I know that you have a re uh, received a piece of land yourself, so you will be able to do some similar business on your own land. Believe me, there's a better way to earn money. What? Are you serious? Like, can we rent out houses and stuff? With respect, Sir Masik of Prudnik. Build the house. Found or build the house, foundation, roof, door, change the lock, da da da. Rent a house. Oh my god. Dude, can we actually rent a house? Oh, I'm so for it. If we could build houses and rent them out, do that. I, I, where are we? <laughs> I guess we're somewhere. Who knows? All right, let's see here. Rental. To rent a house, place a plate from your inventory at the door. And then select a new building owner. Place a plate? Interesting. Remember that each client has different requirements for the size and piece of house. You can, review, you can view the customer's requirements by interacting with the rental plate or by pressing R. Oh, rent. Okay. All right, so the client list. However, uh, hover over your mouse over the question mark sign for the more information. All right, so we have a smile... <laughs> Smyslaw, uh, Casimira, and Wislawa. I kind of like Casimira just because of the name. Casimira Bukon, a uh, Boken, Boken, Casimira Boken. Payment is 15%, which I don't know what that means. Earnings received after a certain period of time. Remember, they are accumulated only until the basket is full. Damage. I don't know what damage is. The chance of the customer damaging or littering the house. Oh, let me see. I mean, this would be the ideal person, right? Because the payment is high, 21, and the damage is less. However, she requires a house cost of $2,900 compared to her. She compares, uh, you know, wants a house of $1,900 with a house area of four. So a very smaller thing. She wants royalty stuff. She just needs a bed in a closet. I see now. Okay. Is this house ready to be rented? Is this house ready to be rented? I think I want to do Casimira, the knight. I think that just sounds badass. So we need a four, a house area four, right? What is a house? Minimum house size expressed in number of foundations. So she needs four foundations for her house. And then she just needs a bed. So a simple, a simple bed, right? Or a simple house, I should say. So let's actually do that. Yeah, I, I, I want to do that. There we go. And then we'll do that. Dun, 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 dun. We won't. We will actually give her. Um, we'll give her windows on all sides is what I'm getting at here. So one for the back, one for the side, one for the side and one for the front. Uh, she is a knight. So she could be like, I don't know, uh, potentially in danger all the time. No, that's not true. But, um, you know, just in case, for whatever reason, she needs, uh, you know, she, you know, she might be a little paranoid and stuff like that. And. And she just needs a, you know, she just, she needs to have her surroundings covered. I guess her, her, her six watched. There we go. Give her a nice simple house. And this house will be like shaped really sim uh, similar to the one we built for the first time. And that's intentionally. I am doing that intentionally. Uh, this is very simple, very easy to do. Let's go and open that up. Let's go ahead and do some altering. And we will, you know what? Can we give her, no, we're not going to do plaster. We'll, we'll do the old wood as well too. We'll do the same kind of wood. 
as we did. I might do different wood on the inside, uh, but for the outside, we'll do the same here. And this is all meant for Casimira. And then let's do like that wood. Oh no, not that wood. There we go. That's the wood I wanted to do on the inside. Okay, let's let's fix that up. Do the old wood. There we are. Oh, we didn't do the tops here, so let's do that. All right, so now we need the windows. Where are the windows? Do we have to buy the windows? Yeah, I think we do need to buy the windows, actually. No. Yeah, building, right? Houses, rent. Um, I need windows. Windows, windows, windows. Not extras, not stairs. Yeah, just a simple window, please. A door. That, that's a window, right? Doors and shutters. Yeah, shutters. Okay, so shutters. Uh, this one. How does that look? I mean, that is kind of like bougie. That's all right. First time renter, you know, won't be the last is where I'm at. So there we go. And then let's just give her an easy bed that she needs a bed in a closet. Very cheap and easy to do. And that's the that's the idea for us. Like the whole premise of this was to do a cheap, easy bed. Honestly, let's not like just do that. Let's do that. I, I don't expect her to spend a lot of time here. She just kind of needs a place for, for her to lay her head down for the most part. Let's give her a mattress. And then let's do a closet. We'll do a cheap closet. Doesn't seem like they have any opinions on if things are cheap or, or expensive. Well, actually, I take that back. There is because the 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 like the tavern lady she wanted like high royal royalty stuff. So luckily for her, she doesn't need it. So then we just need to get a rental sign, right? So how do we get the rental sign? Do we have to buy the rental sign? I uh, no buildings. Rent sign. Okay, there we go. Oh, dude, this is so cool. Okay, so we put it like right there, I guess. Rental. All right, if you fill a home with a client's favorite furniture set, you will receive increased monthly revenue. Remember to pick up your pay regular, regularly and check in with your client to see if they need help with repairs or cleaning. The client may stop paying for a neglected home. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I wonder if that will be tedious, however, but that, I'm glad that that's a thing. It's kind of cool. So there we go. And then do we just rent it out to Casimir? Casimira? Rent the house out? Yeah, to Casimira. Fantastic. All right, we've completed that. And let's just go back. Achievement unlock, landlord. We have officially became a landlord. That's that's exciting stuff. I am, I am a little excited, as you could probably hear in my voice. So Casimira is going to be part of, I guess, she isn't part of the Trojan Condom area, but or Trojan Condom Kingdom, but... What is this? More resources. You can now visit the woodcutter's hut and quarry to obtain resources. Visit them from time to time if you need more materials for construction. Oh, good. Oh, great. Uh, this is area. Enlarge your property. Enlarge your property. Use this sign to buy more land and expand your property. Over time, there will be more and more land available. Buy and expand to create a real kingdom. Okay, great. So I'm glad that that's a thing. Uh, the woodcutters, however, like, where is that at? Is it somewhere I just need to go? Maybe. They didn't really tell me where the woodcutter was at. Dude, look at that. Love it. Let's like take a look at our furniture. Any new? Because it did say we had new, right? Maybe. Let's start unlocking some things. I think it's time for us to like spend some money to unlock. This could be a quite a bit actually. Um, but I like that everything is unlocked. Maybe. Why did that not unlock? I don't know. Let's do some puzzles. Oh my God, this is gonna be terrible. Maybe not a good idea to do the puzzles. <laughs> Let's do that, that. Kind of sprawl them all out here, can we? Fantastic. There we go. Boom. But I'm not, you know, I'm not like the best at puzzles, but I guess I'm not the worst, maybe. Oh, I kind of, oh, I don't know if I like that, actually. And do that. Do that. 
with a little bit of that. All right, so now we're cooking, ladies and gentlemen. However, where is my last border piece? Maybe this? There we go. Okay, great. That right? That makes sense. Maybe. <laughs> oh no. E maybe I don't know, dude. Let's do that. We'll do that, and then we'll do like that. Oh, large cabinet. Uh, does. Oh, I guess that goes. To that, and then that. And then this. Alright? Did I do it? I feel like I didn't do it. Do that. Then that. 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 Okay, there we go. That's how you do it. Okay, good. I'm glad, like, when you put the stuff in or put the right puzzle pieces together, that, um, that it kind of just sits, right? It, 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 you can't move it again. So that's good. Let's do that. I know this isn't, like, the poggers of the poggus, right? Like, we're not pogging out of control here when it comes to, like, gameplay. Um, but it's part of it, you know? It is part of the game. Um, and it's kind of cool. I, I like it. It's kind of peaceful. So let's do that. Do that, do that, do that, and do that. Is that correct? There we go. Fantastic. And we are getting money back for doing these puzzles, which is kind of cool. All right, so th that's good. We don't need to do another puzzle. Let's go outside. We have a couple more quests on the quest board. Let's see what we have cooking for us. We have become a master at your craft. We have build a new house, which we already knew, and we have dungeon. Oh, dude, a dungeon! Oh, I'm really, dis I'm really excited to see that. But that's gonna be it in today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please make sure to hit that like, and I will see you in the next Castle Flipper as we continue to grow our Trojan Condom Kingdom and all that stuff. Yeah, you already know. <laughs> Do take care. Hey.